already know what it is. It's your boy Tunchi and it's YBE TV. Uh, got another question to my Gmail account um, from Little Nikolai. First, before I get into his, let me get into this. Hit me up at 1YBETV at gmail.com for all your questions. As soon as you hit me up, I'm going to try to shoot a video response as soon as possible. You already know. Okay, this one goes from Little Nikolai. It says, hey there, sir. I first have to say you're a kick-ass dude. Appreciate it. You seem very intelligent and successful, and I have to say I'm quite jealous. So keep doing you. And for my question, what are the best and worst states to be, be a on-the-road trucker? I'm from Michigan, but I'm living in Georgia. I asked because I remember you said, fuck driving through Montana, Wyoming, Wyoming and I think Colorado. I'm pretty curious about trucking because I recently got out the army. I have been set on going to college to get my bachelor's in nursing, but after watching your video, well, it has me on the fist. I also have decent credit as well as not much debt, so I could pop, I could reasonably afford a 2013 Volvo Vol slash Freightliner. After seeing your videos, I have decided I will only go the owner operator route, so I guess I have two questions. What are the best and worst states to drive in? What do you think I should do? Sorry for being a little all over the place. Hope you have a good time and drive safe. Man, man, bro, like you tore it up with this question. I really like this is a dope question. First thing I'm going to say about the um, the worst states to me. Uh, okay, first and foremost, yes, Colorado, uh, Wyoming. I hate Wyoming. I hate Colorado. Uh, Utah, give or take, the twin sisters, that's kind of aggravating. Certain parts of California is aggravating when you're going through uh, Donna's Pass. That's pretty aggravating. Then you got Vail in Colorado, and Colorado got that stupid weather. The weather in Colorado, they love putting the chain law in effect. If you don't know what the chain law is, that means that they make you chain the tires of your truck or you can't move. Uh, next, uh, New York, New York, New York, New York is probably one of the worst states to drive in. And it's not just because of the weather. New York, certain parts of Pennsylvania, certain parts of Oregon. Uh, but New York, man, that's probably one of the worst states, too, man, because if you're going through New York City, now upstate New York, Buffalo, Syracuse, you know, stuff like that, that's pretty easy in and out. You know, it's pretty simple, man. I kind of love that portion of New York. But New York City. Man, it's not trucker friendly. So is Chicago in certain areas. I'm a native of Chicago, so it's not too bad for me. But, man, I'm telling you, you can end up in some trouble in Chicago, too. So those are some of the uh, worst places that I could say. Now, let's move on to your next question, which would be, okay, best and worst state to drive in. What do I think you should do? Um, okay, now this part right here. This one is going to be tough for me because you invested so much into, you know, nursing. Nursing, that's not no fly-by-night fluky stuff, you know. Like, I, I respect anybody that gets off their behind and they push toward a goal. But what I'm going to say is, like, when you're going into, like, Everest College, like, let's just say Everest, you got somebody that went to Everest, and let's just say they do a six-month program. Now, if somebody does a six-month program, I commend them. You know, I can't talk bad about anybody who's actually making an attempt to do something positive. I can't say nothing about it. But what I can say is it's six months. You know, like, that's kind of like fly-by-night to me because, like, when you're really thinking about the entry level of an actual degree, it's two years. You know, an associate's degree is two years. Now, you, to be a nurse, from what I understand, I think you got to go, like, bachelor's degree, four years. Um... Or you, you got to do so much college. You got to do so many different things to get into that. And by you investing so much into that industry, I would think it's like, damn, you know, you got the student loans and all these different types of things that you're considering. It's like, damn, do you really, you know, do you really want to jump into an industry like this? That's a hell of a... So it, it could go either way because that's a hell of a backup if you, you know, trucking don't work out for you, you got some to fall back on that's crazy that's gonna make a lot of money but on the other end with it making a lot of money you're gonna max out you max out like let's just say as a nurse you start making 32 dollars an hour 
and you're getting crazy over time. Uh, it's going it takes the decision of somebody else or something that's on the books for you to make more money. And it don't matter how much you save, you can't reinvest back into the nursing business unless you go back to school and then, you know, you go to school, you do that for a while and you can do it. But in trucking, you can grow as much as you possibly want to. I'm a fan of being an entrepreneur, but at the same time, I'm a fan of being home every night too. So it's like, it is, I can't answer that. Like, honestly, I can't answer that because I don't know your situation. Like, if you got little kids at home and you could buy you a truck and you got somewhere where you could be local. See, you got to before. OK, look, this is what I'm going to say. I can't give you some advice. I just thought of. Go out and do your scouting of companies. Call you some companies. Find out what they have to offer an owner operator. Find out what truck. Just give a hypothetical truck. Write that truck down. And shop that truck with different companies like call JB Hunt and say, All right, JB Hunt, uh, I want to know. I had a couple questions. Call the recruiters. Oh, I got a couple questions. First and foremost, I want to know uh, what type of programs do you have coming out of Bridgeton, Tennessee? You know, wherever you're from. What type of, uh, you know, programs you got? Well, do, do you guys have something for owner operators where I could be home every night? Okay, how much does it pay? Is it, uh, you know, about a mile or is it percentage? Okay, if I'm not home every day, how often would I be home? Okay, um, what's the fuel surcharge? Do I get 100% of the fuel surcharge or do y'all use um, the national average? You know, you need to find out these things. You need to have at least two, three places set up before you walk away from something that you have uh, invested so much time into. And that's, that's all I'm going to say about it, man. Um, and let me see. Okay, that's I think those was your only two questions. That's that's really it, man. Just be careful, do the research, man, and don't be rash. Don't jump into nothing. Um, and you know, if your heart is in the nursing field, you like helping people as far as medicine, I would say go for the nursing. But if you just an entrepreneur at heart and you want to try your business venture, shit, go for it. You got a hell of a fire backup plan. You got a better one than me. Tomorrow, if I walk out tomorrow and they say I can't drive a truck, I can't start another truck up for the rest of my life, I'm going to have to shuffle and find a way to make this type of money. But you, you damn sure got something to say. I don't give a damn if they say that to you. You could go right into nursing. So I say go for it, bro. I hope you enjoyed that. You already know what it is. It's your boy, Tunchi. If you don't want to end up in a box, think outside of it. Why be Killer to kill or a driller to drill. She just being yourself is the definition of real.